Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is outfit number 8 of the spring 10x10 challenge. Today I'm wearing my Gap chambray button down with my white cami underneath from Madewell. I added this thrifted scarf as an accessory today. And as for my jeans, I'm wearing my dark denim skinnies from Paige with my white supergas. So minus this scarf, my outfit isn't too different from what I ended up wearing yesterday. If I had to name this outfit, I would call it redemption because I feel like I'm making up for my bad choices yesterday. <laughs> So this scarf was a gift to me from my sister. We went thrifting together uh, while she was in Korea and she bought this for me. And I've only worn it so far as a headband when I was traveling in the Philippines because I had my hair up in a high ponytail or a bun. So that was the only time I've worn this and this is my first time wearing it like an actual scarf around my neck. Guys, this scarf costs 5,000 won, which is less than $5. So this look is heavily inspired by Ali Cherry. You guys know she's one of my favorite YouTubers here. And she made a video about a year ago about how she wears vintage scarves. And then I think sometime this year, she made a follow-up video where she showed us um, three more ways to wear vintage scarves. And I remember when I first watched it, I thought, oh, that's so cute. And I don't know if I could pull that off because I'm not normally one to accessorize a lot. I mean, like me wearing four rings on my right hand is usually the extent I go to when it comes to accessories. In her video, she shows a step-by-step -step on how to fold your scarves to wear it a certain way, and I found it really helpful and fun to watch. And so I had that on the back of my mind, like, oh, it's something I want to try one day. And last night, I was honestly feeling discouraged about like how many more outfits can I put together even though I only have like three more days left and just all, all of a sudden I remembered that I had this scarf and I remembered Ali's video so I re-watched it I'll definitely link it for you guys down below and then I took out the scarf, I folded it up and I popped it on today I'm really pleased with how this one small addition uh, jazzed up this otherwise simple outfit. And as an added bonus, this is providing me warmth. And I remember growing up, my grandma would always say that when you're cold, make sure your neck, your lower back, and your feet are covered and warm because that will make a huge difference. The weather today is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't seen clear skies like this in Korea in a really long time. And I don't know about you guys in other parts of the world. I don't know if you check your air quality, but um, I, this is only something I started to do recently. When Gail used to live in Korea, she would always check the air quality before taking her kids out to play. And it's very common here in Korea for people to walk around outside with masks because of the whole yellow dust thing. I only recently started paying attention to how bad the air has been. And Brandon downloaded this little app for me that I've been using to check. Um, and today's is so nice. It's like the first time I've seen green and the little icon, it's a picture of this boy. He's smiling, which means the air quality is good. And it even suggests for you to open up your windows and to ventilate your home. So I have it in my calendar. Like I have an alarm that says to open my windows and ventilate our apartment because we don't keep our windows open here just because I don't want the crap to get inside. Yellow dust is a pretty serious condition because it does cause respiratory problems, especially in the elderly and children and people that um, have weaker lungs. And one of my clients that I work with, like he's been coughing a lot and he's the one that has been telling me, you know, to like check the air. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there that today's so beautiful. I think I can get away with um, not wearing my cardigan, especially for teaching because that's what I'm going to do first. But after work, I do have um, a dinner appointment with Brandon and a friend. So I'll probably grab my cardigan before I head out to dinner. The one big learning that I want to share today is that I'm glad I waited this long until I decided to add any accessories. Even though that wasn't planned, it's not like I was saving my accessories um, for the end of the challenge. It just kind of happened, but it definitely made the tail end of the challenge more exciting for me. So the one tip I would like to share is for you to utilize your accessories, whether that means, you know, adding a hat to your outfit, either like a baseball cap or a beanie or whatever suits your fancy. Um, a scarf or even jewelry if you have any cool statement jewelry i feel like that would totally change the vibe of the outfit unfortunately i don't have any more statement jewelry i used to have a lot but as i'm getting older and my skin's becoming more sensitive to um, jewelry that isn't a fine silver or real gold like 
straight 14k or 18k gold i can't wear them because it causes a rash on my neck so this will have to do for now and i'm really pleased with it uh, one look that i wanted to play around with is to turn it around and to just kind of wear it like a thick choker i really like how this looks but because i just cut my hair and it's a lot shorter here's what's going on in the back now i don't know maybe i have to play around with it a little more um, and somehow make it not show. I feel like when my hair was a bit longer, I could get away with a little bit of it peeking out, but I'm not sure I like that right now. I'm happy to hear that more of you are participating in this challenge or seriously thinking about doing the challenge. And if that's the case, please keep me updated. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.